Hey, Mr. Speaker, we all know why we're here today. We're here to condemn socialism. And let's not play games. We know what socialism is. And despite knowing what socialism and communism is, you're going to see Democrat after Democrat come down here on the floor and refuse to vote to condemn socialism and communism. Uh, and let's talk about what that means. Mao Zedong, in his socialist revolution in China, you had 55 million people starved to death in the wake of famine and devastation caused by the so-called great, great leap forward in China. And you're going to have Democrats come to the floor and refuse to condemn that. Let's talk about Joseph Stalin. And by the way, history lesson, FDR, a Democrat, would refer to Joseph Stalin as Uncle Joe when he was trying to make this ruthless thug more palatable to the American people. Again, a Democrat praising uh, Joseph Stalin by digress. Under Stalin, tens of millions died in the Bolshevik Revolution. At least 10 million people were sent to gulags in the USSR, and more than uh, and, and millions starved to death in Ukraine due to forced famine. Pol Pot eliminated one-fourth of the population in Cambodia, one-fourth. And again, you're going to have Democrats come to the floor and refuse to condemn that. Due to socialist and totalitarian policies, over 75% of Venezuelans currently live in poverty. Only 3% of Venezuelans consider themselves food secure. This was the largest GDP in South America before Chavez took over. And now they're literally eating their pet dogs to stop starvation. Marxist socialist policies and communism regimes are responsible for hundreds of millions of deaths worldwide. And again, my Democratic colleagues will come to this floor later today and refuse to condemn it. It's truly astounding. 3.5 million have starved to death in North Korea just since the 1990s alone. In the current communist regime in, in Cuba, uh, the government continues to repress and punish virtually all forms of dissent and public criticism, cri criticism as Cubans endure the worst economic crisis seen in decades. And again, Democrats will come to the floor and refuse to condemn that. During Castro's rule, thousands of Cubans have been incarcerated in abysmal prisons, thousands more were harassed and intimidated, and entire generations were denied basic political freedoms. And again, my Democratic colleagues, some of them will refuse to condemn that. I'd like to yield three minutes to the gentleman from Missouri, my good friend, Mark Alford.